Well, hello. I'm going to briefly show you how to make a framed lithophane. And the way you do it is at lithophanemaker.com. Uh, there is a tool called the Window Lithophane Design Tool, and it greatly reduces the amount of time it takes to make a framed lithophane for you. So I'll go through it quickly, and then I'll go through it in a little bit more detail for the people who actually want to see everything. But basically you you look at the design here, you adjust these values here, um, you change the design until it's something that you like. Here's This is your overhang angle, maybe you feel comfortable printing a 60 degrees overhang. And then you upload an image that you want to to use, say that one, and then you hit create STL. It'll take some amount of time to calculate everything, um, but it's you know it's basically just a Facebook scroll or two away, and I'll just come right back when it's done. Okay, so it's done now, and we have our um, our lithophane. Here it is, and you can see it has a frame on it. You can see it has holes. You can use these holes to hang the lithophane using string, just string coming in through here and going to a hook. Okay, so that is the quick and dirty explanation of the tool. Now I'm going to go back and we'll look at it in a little bit more detail and I'll explain all these different variables. So here's the aspect ratio. That's the aspect ratio of your picture. So maybe it's two. You can see what happens to your design. Um, I'm going to change this so that the aspect ratio is calculated once you upload your photo. Okay, this is the lithophane resolution. This determines how frequently there are unique uh, heights on your lithophane image. So um, it's, it's basically the resolution of the picture that is created when you print your lithophane. So every right now, every 0.3 millimeters, you have a unique pixel, uh, a unique thickness on the lithophane face. And then here's the base length, which is defined here, and you can change that to 200, and the lithophane becomes wider. This is all scaled, so it just looks like everything else became smaller because it's scaled. But uh, really, what's happening is the base is becoming longer while nothing else is changing. And then here you have your base width, which is defined right here. You could change that to 20, and you can see from the side view what happens. You change the height to 20. Again, from the side view, you can see what happens. And then here's the ledge angle. Like I said before, this is the overhang angle, essentially. Up here on the top, it becomes your overhang angle. So I go with 60 degrees, because that's what I can comfortably print with. And then you have the minimum and the maximum, uh, minimum and maximum thicknesses. And these are what you can use to adjust the thickness of the image. So you can use these to control the brightness of the image and the contrast of the image. And what I do in practice is I make them both numbers that are divisible by my uh, layer line width. So I typically print at about half a millimeter layer line width. So I might make these two uh, divisible by half a millimeter so that this would be seven line thicknesses and this would be one line thickness just so that uh, it's it's even. Especially with, with this number here I think it matters. With this number it might not matter as much but that's that's what I do. And so this estimates the run time so that you can figure out if you have time to go grab that bowl of ice cream or maybe it's just you only have time for a cup of water or maybe you only have time to watch half of a cat video. I don't know what you do with your time. But this helps you um, time things a little bit better. And I'm going to get a better server at some point. This is a free tool, so it's not like I'm rolling in the dough here or something, right? I'm just uh, I'm thinking about making a Patreon page to uh, raise money for a server. And if I get one, this could probably go down to about a second or two. I can run it on my main computer. 
I could run something of this quality on my uh, main computer in about uh, one or two seconds. So, and then here's the file size, estimated file size. So you you upload your image, and here you give your email address, and I use this to track unique users and also give um, messages to people. Like sometimes I'll be updating, and someone's trying to create a lithophane while I'm updating, and I'll send them an email and be like, "Hey guy or gal, um, you might get kind of screwed up lithophanes for the next ten minutes. I'll let you know when I'm done." And you know, just general debugging. And I'm always interested in hearing what you guys want out of this tool. And so far, I've, I've already made several um, modifications to accommodate people's ideas, and I get a lot of good ideas from, from people. So uh, here's a, a bunch of words that attract the Google crawlers to my page, hopefully. But they also explain everything I just explained here, perhaps, perhaps in a little bit more detail in some places, or less detail, I don't know. And then here's the contact us. So if you have any ideas for other tools that you'd like to see or ways to make this tool better, you find some bugs, um, I'd love to hear about them. I regularly correspond with people. That said, this is not a money maker. This is a hobby. I'm a hobbyist uh, coder as well as a hobbyist 3D printer. So, you know, you, you might have to wait until after a work day. If you if you email me at night, it might not be until the next night before I can uh, fix fix the problem for you. But I try to do what I can because I enjoy helping people, and um, that's all I've got. So um, thank you for listening. Bye.